Previously on Virtual Unlimited Project, Kana went to report her warehouse damages to the G Foundation. The security attacked her. The top GE accused her of being the aggressor and used her wind powers to attack Kana. Afterwards, it turns out that an imposter was behind the chaos incident, and all was forgiven. Operator Kami has detected irregular data from the volcano. Additionally, the banned geothermal research institute inside the volcano was restarted for unknown reasons. Neo Babylon speculates that there is a high likelihood of chaos at the geothermal research institute causing the abnormal volcanic activity. You are requested to head inside the volcano with the geological expert from Operator Kami, handle the chaos, and ensure the expert can successfully collect the needed data. Start mission? Yes. Teleportion site, blah blah blah. Ready. It's just as hot as you'd expect inside a volcano. And this nauseating feeling, we might be entering a nearing a high level chaos zone. My Zavakana, you're the Chaos Control Expert from Neo-Babylon. Yon, so you're a Geological Expert from the Manager Academy. Why don't you join Hive? I remember you received their invitation quite early on. Oh uh, well, joining Hive means no time for traveling. A f life of fighting and killing is not for me. I never expected a top student from Magic Science to become a Geologist. Feelings mutual, I never imagined a top student from Information Management would be a sp Combat Specialist for Neo-Babylon. Let's not judge each other's life choices. Here, take this. Yon's thermometer. Is this? Environmental temperature detection device. Volcanic well, environments are incredibly dangerous. Be careful not to stay in areas where readings are increasing for too long or you get burnt. Understood. Let's flip. I need to collect some data. I'll leave the rest right to you. I feel it would be better to stick together, but since it's gone, there shouldn't be any problems. Even though it looks like an exit, I can't use it. Okay, it seems to be flamethrower enemies. And these towers now. Ah. Seems as- because of the short view distance, you're- it's all about reaction speed, huh? And this thing, it will counterattack if you jump on it. Ah! I did not react properly to the wall of doom. Okay, the extreme heat means I have to stay in these bubbles in order to lower my temperature. Ugh. But I also don't know the layout of the map very well, so that is also very problematic. Ah. Imagine to slice a missile, too. Yeah, I can't jump up there yet. Uh. I wish I could see further in front of me. Ah, that was close. Uh, I think at this point I need to head to the left. Uh. Oh my goodness, I'm dying of heat. I wonder if there's a way to prevent that entirely. What? Uh. Oh man, good thing that enemy didn't notice me, but this one did. And it dropped its money that I will not be able to get without losing my progress. This is my space. You, uh, This is my uh, 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 cooling bubble. Okay, auto charge. This should, in my opinion, auto charge should have been a default feature. The only problem with auto charge is that it also makes it harder to use some of your sword techniques. The ones that require you to press directional things. Like the, the Ijutsu, or the Downward Thrust. Yes, yeah, so you have to go into your menu and turn off charging for the main weapon. Yeah, the game lets you set it individually for your main weapon or sub-weapon. Obviously, there's no advantage uh, to turning it off for the sub-weapon, but for the main weapon, which is the sword, you might want to do that for if you expect to use a certain EX skill a lot. Yes. A lot of uh, enemy attacks are uh, are easier to deal with when you use Aijutsu. Oh boy. This thing is going to... Counter... Ah. It's always on the... Is it on the spot where I land all the time? Or is there a d different kind of roll for it? Can't, can't press this down. Is it rest inside? Maybe it needs a stronger impact. 
Jump. Jump. Hold on, Isaac. Kinda. Ouch! 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 I hit my head. Look, y'all. I think it's better if we stick together. There's something off about the right here. Don't get me wrong. Just, just because I'm now a scholar doesn't mean I can't fight. You're still not as efficient at clearing rights as I am. Wait, that's how I met. Anyway, Nick's are your concern. Did Yana react? I hope it didn't make her angry. Uh, jump kick is now a thing I have to worry about. Alright, I cannot use either of these doors yet. I guess part of it, I think you have to use them if you use the sh one, a, a, a shortcut later. All right, you need to remember how to jump. Yeah, so much easier to just use auto charge to not have to and not have to tire out my fingers as much. Yes, that allows me to concentrate more on just moving around than charging up. Makes a huge difference for people who lack dexterity like me. Uh, I'm wasting an uh, health. Ugh. Okay, I don't need to use jump kick for that one yet, since I can just uh, the splash damage from the shot will be enough. What the? Oh, the enemy I attacked it dropped it. Okay. Uh, I need to get to that disc somehow. Ah, uh, there we go. Yon Tion. Okay, I need to kill it if I want to get for that door. There we go. Yeah, it's armored, so only my wind charge shot can deal with it when it's closed. There's the chip I want. Ah! Shit, it doesn't work. Ah. Well, actually, it did work for a moment when it opened up, but it wasn't enough to kill it. I really wish collision damage was mutual so that it's at least more fair. Like in Kirby. Increased SP recovery might be better than, uh, than some of the, uh, than the RSP type thing I have. I think it was SP based on damage taken. Uh, enemies are not dropping enough health. I wonder if health drop rate is affected by difficulty. Oh, finally. Alright, another bubble part of the stage. To do this to get more platforming space. Just like with Kinzera, some platforms sink when you stand on them. Okay. I fucked that jump. Not good. Okay, you need to actually hit it again just to get the chip. It land on me, I think. I'm using up way too much R tank. Uh, run! It's tracking me. Oh, y'all impressive. Huh? Wait a second, are you okay? You seem a bit off. Is 
Such a reaction could mean chaos. No good. The chaos contamination here is too severe. I can't make an accurate judgment. I hope it's just my imagination. An operator like Gan shouldn't get easily infected, even in a highly contaminated area. I must be overthinking this. Wind is used in a lot of these stages, huh? Yeah, that's why that person who wrote the video guide did so by starting with wind, even though that means having to fight the boss without any electric attacks. Okay, down this hall. This is where the hard part begins. The rest of the dungeon was merely a warm-up. Health boost. Yes, even in this game, we cannot escape the chase sequences. Yeah, I die a lot of times on this chase sequence. Do not hit that button. It, ugh, is a trap. Yeah, you want to have room to get uh, to get that chip there. Also, I since I died, sometimes the lava progress will not be consistent. Ugh, gotta be better about activating these switches. Ow. Okay, now just get up here. Ah! Yeah, it's better to climb on the side I need to actually use. And now this part. It all starts a new lava sequence. Just when you fight, you're safe. Okay, first get the music disc. Note that items you pick up will be kept in, in subsequent attempts. So you don't have to find them again. Yeah, because of this, I actually made a lot of money because I kept taking some wrong paths that led to money instead of the items I wanted. This way leads to a chip. The other way leads to money, but that's not what I want. Money is easy to farm. It's, it's not special in any way possible. Yeah, see all that red there? That's the wrong path. Unless you're replaying the stage and you want to grind money here for whatever reason, instead of a safer location. Extra health. Ow. Okay, this side has the path I want. Ah. This break room is also filling with lava. Be careful. So, such a weird chaos contamination. My head hurts so much. The device is continuously spreading the chaos. Yon, what's going on right now? Oh, I feel so much better now. Yeah, don't move around. Let me tend to your wounds. What are you doing, Yon? Go. Okay, this boss, you can knock the dice back into her. I'm not sure what the numbers are supposed to mean, though. Ah. Ah. She has normal shots as well. I think she's kicking her shots at me. The heck? Somehow she's already passed half hit points. Ow. Unlike me, make sure not to jump during the rotating bullet attack and just take it slow to dodge it. Uh, guard before she can use her ultimate. Oh, I'm not getting a good score for this. I'm censoring that. I saw Connor. Where are you finding me? Have you forgotten your regain your sanity? I remember discovering chaos the device that was continuously spreading the chaos. Yon, you've been infected by chaos. What are you talking about? How could it possibly be? No way, I sure I shouldn't be infected that easily. Why weren't you infected? I'm obviously stronger than you. Wait a minute, the inhibitory effects of the information management department on the chaos says Ice Teacher's new research. High speed computation. It feels like I've grasped something. Curses, my head hurts so much. Are you alright? She should call for a medical support first. 
I completed a data collection task and about that strange device. You understand, right? You must report to Neo Babylon as a priority. Yes, it's indeed a severe anomaly, but the top priority is to get you into a hospital. I appreciate it. Uh, honestly, the boss was way easier than the actual stage. Good work, Hana. The volcanic activity has returned normal. It's great that the volcano is fine. But now there's a new issue to worry about. That, is it that device? Indeed, a device capable of actively spreading chaos. It's a technology that can shake the world. The area around the device may, may have already surpassed severe contamina chaos contamination. It's in fact an operator of Yon's caliber in such a short time. I can even sense some sort of emotion in the chaos. No, it's more like a will, like a beast's intense desire to possess, and... Never mind, it's nothing. I might be slightly affected by the right myself, but I need, I need to rest for a bit. Go on, gotta come find me for new missions when you feel up to it, Kana. Yeah. Right, it feels familiar somehow. Kana, there are no new assignments at the moment. You can take a break now, huh? Yay! So now I have to go... I have no choice but to go to bed in order to advance the story, huh? Chat. Oh, I'm gonna have to... What the? My charge shot is different. It's actually bigger. A rare holiday. I can finally get a good night's sleep. I have a feeling things are going to get busy soon. S is there anything you haven't finished yet? There are still things to do. No, there are still things I haven't finished. I'll sleep later. I have a sleep you've got nothing to do, huh? Check news. Official debunking. Everything is normal with Volcano. In response to the recent widespread rumor uh, 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 of the volcano's about to erupt, uh, of a, a volcano eruption, the Operator Academy has announced its latest geological survey data of the volcano. The data shows no, the volcanic activity is normal and there's no possibility of eruption. Geologist Jan said the volcanic activity is cyclical, and maybe that someone just collected data when the volcanic activity was more active, which led to a rumor. The government hopes that the general public can believe in some science and live, live with peace of mind. Hmm. Yeah, that was a really bad attempt, but I'm gonna find a way to edit all that. Seriously. <laughs> Lava Sage is hurting the actual boss. The actual boss th leaves herself very open. I restarted- I had to retry the Lava section so much I actually have way too much money. That's how bad it's become. Oh man. Geological Expert and Operator Academy University Division. The last disciple of Professor Ice of the Magic Department and a pro operator. With two years of combat experience, she was the top student in the Magic Department during her time in high school division. She uses a variety of devices to construct techniques for combat. Her hobbies include traveling, adventuring, exploring ruins, collecting books, and visual materials. She's a pro operator who longs for and has the ability to live a free life. Flame Barnacle. Acts more like a flamethrower. But you can destroy it with wind, apparently. Flame Pile Driver. Pile Driver type enemy generated from the riot. Go with two flamethrowers to inject flames into the ground and inject them outward. Kind of like the electric one. Pushing from the air to attack might be a good idea. His head seems oddly familiar. Column Turret. I actually... Uh, this is the first time I've actually gotten the card for it. Maybe it's... Uh, 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 that was... It can, it can only be picked up once? I don't know. Per military partition wall infected by a riot. If you make sure it's a modular design with mounted defense weapons, able to block off areas or build temporary cover. So I was an urge to string them together. Magma turret. Magma monitoring device infected by a riot. It absorbs energy from magma to function, pretending to be a mini volcano. It might be used as a stepping stone, but be wary if it's retaliation. Blaze riot gunner. A elite humanoid enemy generated from the riot. A special variant influenced by scorching environments and a pan of barbecue. Does this guy ever run out of fuel? As a security officer, shield bearer. They fight enemies up close using standard chief foundation electric batons and energy shields. Yeah, they are humans, aren't they? Scanning turret. 
Once it scans an enemy, it extends its cannon to fire powerful and discriminate shots. Armor is hard and destructible. You can only load it out of a shell unless he's wind. Yen skill practice. I need to check some of my EX skills as well. So the only EX skill is just the extra charge shot with fire. See, so yeah, I have to do that to drop the box. What the? There we go. Drops a box I can... Ugh. Okay. Press B to activate firework flare up. Huh? Does it go through walls? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, supposedly there's some stuff in the stage I can get with my current setup. Yes, like that. Your speed runner. Run a little bit faster, huh? Okay, there's something in here. A record approaching. Okay. Okay. Now I can finally enter this room. Now I got a little bit more max SP and I can also turn on the lights. That would have helped a lot earlier, but it doesn't make sense to do a wind dungeon first. Very weird. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Virtual Unlimited Project. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit that bell icon.